Hey guys, JG here and welcome to the God Mode Scenario. This is not going to be your conventional football manager series. I'm going to click on the squad view now and you will see why. Yes. This save is for fun. I have used the in-game editor to lie, cheat, steal and slander. Or, well, at very least, cheat. And honestly, the goal of this save is simply to develop a team of superstars for fun. As you can see, I have used the in-game editor to acquire myself all of the best young talent in the game. I look at potential abilities and current abilities. I have disabled this now because I know some people may want to follow this mini-series but not actually want the potential ability revealed. So I am, while recording, I am only going by star ability. But I have looked at potential ability and that is what I have based this team on. So yeah, as said, this is just for fun. It's, what, it's the save I, will, I tend to do at least once per iteration of Football Manager because I like to see how these players develop. I love the looking at some of these budding superstars when they're fully developed and just seeing all that green and all those twenties. And well, yes, I mean, Paulo Dubla, he, he's already amazing. So basically I have cheated. I have given myself a lot of money. I started off at Oxford City, by the way, but the team is essentially irrelevant. Oxford City from the bottom of the English League pyramid, at least in the default game. I have adjusted contracts, and I will manually do so to keep them in the side. I will reject any and all bids, and if the board decides to sell them, I will use the editor to take them back. I will essentially do exactly as I wish, as this is the team I wish to take the Champions League glory in seven or eight years' time. As it takes six years to get the Premier League, and then maybe let's say three or four before they reach their absolute full potential and hopefully win us the Champions League. Anyways, uh, the, there will not be regular episodes, so to speak. Episodes will come out when I have played the save enough. Episodes will be at the end of each season. There's one now, this is the start. If we just take a look at the friendly so far. Yeah. 2-0 against my own under-18 side, which is strange, but... Yeah. But, as said, what at the end of every season... And there will be no schedule as such. Anyways, shall we start off by taking a look at the team I have given myself? I wouldn't even say acquired, I have to say given myself. Start off with um, the start. This guy will probably be the starting goalkeeper, Predag Rajkovic. Pretty well known in football manager circles, the Serbian goalkeeper. I mean, he he's. Decent already, but obviously not the world beater that he will become later on. Again, training him as a sweep keeper. To, oh yeah, I should just uh, check my tactics. First of all, I'm going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 because I mean a lot of the high potential players play in this attack in these attacking midfield roles, so that's what I'll be going with. Uh, yeah, so I'm training him currently as a sweeper keeper, added kicking, basically what my um, assistant manager recommended to me. In the backup keeper role, or maybe first team keeper later on, and I maybe one of them could get an injury. Who knows? Uh, Bartłomiej Stragowski, the Polish goalkeeper, again fairly well known within FM uh, circles, and again usually has tends to become a world beater at a very young age. Uh, at a right back, I chose to select Eric Dyer and to use him as right back. Could I have found a better, more dedicated right back? Yeah, probably. But, I mean, if we just take a look at his stat... No, actually, there. He has good stats in all light areas. He can have better dribbling, but that can be improved via training. And generally, hopefully, he will become very... Well, I know he will become very good. Christian Manea. He tends to pop up as a high potential player on, on all my saves. The Romanian. But I've never actually tried him out, so this is going to be a first. Again, he will he will essentially be the backup because, well, I have Eric Dyer as the first choice. Then we have Daniele Rugani, who again 
very well known in real life Italian defender. A uh, place for Juventus. Juventus. Okay, so I don't see any transfer fee, but he does play for Juventus apparently. He used to play for Empoli. Hang on, that was and yeah. So his defensive partner, fellow Italian Alessio Romanogli. Again, plays for Milan. Yeah, plays for Milan. Never got an appearance for them because I stole them from stole him from them. Too bad, Milan. And I remember I had these two as a defensive partnership on an AC Milan save personally not too long ago. They are very, 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 very similar, Rogani and Romanogli. And it's it's almost here. They're exactly the same height, exactly the same weight. They are, are within a few months of each other age-wise. It's actually kind of creepy, but... Oh well. I just need... Yeah, okay, so he's actually turning 21 soon. Then we have Kurt Zuma, who... Well, most people know Kurt Zuma, Chelsea defender. Absolute tank of a man. And Jonathan Tarr. Basically, a, I wouldn't say a carbon copy of Zuma, but a German copy of Zuma. Again, very physically strong and a tank. So, uh, on the left back spots, I chose to go with Luke Shaw and Jairo Riedewald. Luke Shaw, again, arguably the biggest fullback talent on the planet right now, on his way back from that broken leg injury he suffered against PSV Eindhoven. And hopefully he can lead United to glory and, well, I guess he can lead me to glory, not so much United in this save. And his partner in crime, Jairo Riedewald from Ajax. Again, he, he's a bit the same story as Eric Dyer. He can play a bit around of everywhere. I chose to select him for his prowess at left back. Also, perhaps I should mention, despite using the in-game editor to, to acquire players, I will let them develop naturally. I will not change their attributes via the in-game editor. That will allow it to happen naturally. I will, however, say, if, let's say, someone gets a major injury, I have not yet decided if I'm going to let that go as it is, or if I'm going to remove it via the editor, and, well, yeah. Then we have Yuri Tillemans. Did I see someone? It's Tillemans? Yeah, okay, it's Tillemans now. Uh, again, are one of the highest potential players on the game, and as is so in this save as well. Coming from Anderlecht in Belgium. Um, not very good physically, but he is only 18, so he will develop. He will probably starting because, leading on to the next two, uh, Manuel Locatelli and Filippo Milagoni. Has, ha, they both have very, very high potential, but they do not have very, very high current ability. I decided to select them anyways, because first of all, Milagoni is uh, one of my favorite players, because I had him in, was it an Everton save I ran earlier this year, where he did very, very well. So, I have a bit of a soft spot for him. Locatelli, I have, again, the same story with Christian Manea. I mean, I've seen him pop up in high potential a lot of times, but I've never actually tried him. So those will be the backup central midfielders, and then we have Leon Goretzka. Again, a player most people know by now. A uh, solid midfielder, can play a lot of places, and will hopefully slot in nicely next to Tillemans. Then we have Herving Lozano, the Mexican. Again, quite well known among football manager circles. I'm feeling I'm repeating that sentence a lot. Uh, will play on the right wing mostly. Unfortunately, he will be second choice because first choice we have the player with the most potential in the entire game, I think. Maybe alongside Martial. Martin Udegaard from Norway and Real Madrid. So, uh, yeah. He will be playing a lot because... And he, he will have to be playing on the right wing and not on the attacking mid role because I felt like it. He could be quicker, but he is being trained in that, and hopefully he will develop into an absolute monster of a player, and he usually does in this game, so... Uh... Then on the central midfield spot, we have Marco Asensio from, again, Real Madrid, I believe, yes. Uh, he doesn't actually always have that high potential, but as I said, I have used the in-game editor to check for potentials, and in this save, he's got a lot of potential. I said, I'm not going to reveal exactly how much. But trust me, he's going to be good. This is also one of the reasons why I chose to play Udegaard on the right wing instead of in central attacking midfield. 
So that might be interesting. And then we have Julian Draxler. The German, most people know him by now, he transferred to Wolfsburg in real life. Never got to play because I stole him. <laughs> but um, again, him and Essential will probably rotate a lot and depending on which one of them develops the best form, I will choose that person as the, uh, the main player, so to speak, on that slot. On the left wing, we have Raheem Sterling. I mean, if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you know who Raheem Sterling is. One of the, probably one of the biggest footballing talents on the planet right now. Currently transferred to Manchester City after a two phenomenal seasons at Liverpool. And, well, hopefully I can transform him into the beast winger that he has the potential to be. His partner in crime, Julian Brandt, playing for... Ooh, I'm not going to check. I want to guess. Is it Leverkusen? It is Leverkusen. I actually thought it was Wolfsburg. But that was not entirely wrong because he used to play there. Okay, anyways. um, Again, very good player. In real life, very large, huge talent. I cannot speak. Um, but he will also be playing mostly on the right wing. Then we have the strikers. Uh, Paulo Dybala will be the first choice. Uh, the, it's, uh, the, it's, no, he's not Italian, he's Argentinian, playing for the Italian side Juventus. Who, you know, in real life, he has taken the Serie A by storm. I believe he is top sc no, he's not top scorer because Higuain absolutely ripped that league apart. But he's definitely been doing very, very well for Juventus. And I really want to see, again, the, I know this guy has a lot of potential. I want to see exactly how much and absolutely how much he's going to destroy defences across England and across Europe. And last but not least, we have Donis Avgiaj. A German player, Albanian background, I believe Albanian at least. Shall I check? Albanian. Uh, very high potential, came from Schalke. Um, yeah, again, we'll probably play second fiddle to Dybala, but obviously they all of these players bar developmental failure because I don't play them enough because I'm an idiot. All these players will turn into absolute world beaters. And the ones I do play will turn into world beaters. I know this for a fact because I'm a cheater. But I'm telling you all, and it, if you don't like this kind of video, you can click away, so therefore it's okay. Uh, just looking, I've also um, edited up all my facilities, so I have top uh, training facilities, top youth facilities, top youth recruitment, etc, etc. And I also have some of the best coaches I can buy for money. Uh, so yeah, I mean, let's just see. I mean, basically, we top all the categories, and even if we're in the Premier League, we would probably still top them. But uh, yeah, that's about it. I, this series, I will not be doing live comms. I will only be doing end of season summaries. And I mean, actually, maybe when I get to the Premier League or something, or if there's a Champions League final, I probably might do a live com or something. But for now, this is all I will be doing. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this uh, alternative uh, series. If you have any comments as to what I should do about this, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I will not be playing this as much as Advanced as my main series, mainly because there's no set schedule for this. I will just be playing this when I have the time. When I don't have time to record some episodes in the Leicester series, for example, I will simply just be playing this. Anyways, um, yes, I thank you for watching and... I hope you enjoy this series and I will see you guys next time. Bye!